What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video um, in our fourth episode in our how-to series. Today I'm going to show you one of the, what I think is one of the most important skills in bricklaying and that is learning to build a corner um, with a level. So I've got a good example here while I'm still working on my fifth job. Um, so I'm going to show you how to build a corner here. The other side has a profile in it, so I can't really build a corner because it's um, redundant. So I'm going to show you how to do it here. Um, I've got my trowel, obviously. I've got my small level, and I've also got my 1200 and a gauge rod. You can use a ga gauge tape, but most likely you will have a gauge rod available. So I'm going to show you how to do it with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. So. Are you going to come up? No. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, this section here only has four, wait, one, two, three, four, four courses left. So, the corner doesn't have to be uh, gigantic. So, what I've got here is four bricks. Um, what you usually do when building a corner is you rack it back, which also means staggering it back, however you may call it. Um, each course as you go up. So because we've got um, four here, we should end up with about three, I think, three or two and a half. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is spread my mud. <laughs> it's really dry already. Uh, 32 degrees. Yeah, <laughs> 32 degrees. So, mud's not lasting too long. All right, so you want to spread your bed like so. Remember, we're racking it back, so which means we don't need to go to the end. Um, to make sure uh, we stay on bond, which is key to building a good corner, um, I'm going to put a half, a loose half here. Okay, so that's my half. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the header of a half and just put it on top facing up and have the edge on the previous brick below. So like that. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be sitting there where it is. So now I'm gonna furrow my mud. I had to put a cut in so I didn't bother putting that in the video. I'll just show you the building the corner part. So So I'm going to butter my first brick. Now the key to building, man, there's heaps, heaps of keys to building corners, <laughs> but you want to use any brick that's available. You want to use it as a guide. So I've got three here. So what I'm going to do is um, place my brick. I say I want to get down a little bit, just above where I want to place my brick. So what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm using the bottom. Um, let me take a, a step actually. So I'm going up, the line is already set with the profile. So what I want to do is use the bottom edge of the brick that I'm laying now to match with the top of the previous laid bricks already like so. And then I want to use the top corners being this corner, um, which has a brick next to it and use that to get my brick as uh, level as possible without the level, if that makes sense. So pretty much I've used the edges of the pre-existing bricks that have been laid to lay my new brick. And now that I've laid this one, I'm going to lay my pre my next brick and then work off the last brick that I just laid. So because I've already gone off these bricks, now I can use uh, the brick that I've just laid. So I hope that's uh, not too difficult to understand, <laughs> but um, I'm going to butter my next brick. Place it and go down. 
scrape away so I could see where I am. And now, as I, I was, as I was explaining before, I'm using the top corner to match with the top corner of the previous brick, and I'm using the bottom corner um, to match with the bottom corner of the previous brick as well, which would help me uh, get it level, roughly. I still need to check it with level, so um, again, for this side, the left side of the brick, I'm trying to match the bottom corner to the top of this brick, of the previous laid brick beneath. And then scrape away. Now I've got one more brick to lay. So again, same thing. I'm working off the, the edges or the corners of previous laid bricks. That way I'm roughly where I need to be, so. That's rough, yeah, roughly. All right. Um, again, you want to try stay on bond. So you want to show like sort of flat. I'll try to get out of the way. But as you can see with the perps, I'm trying to keep them in line. Let me try to get it on wide. Yeah, the gimbal's going to be in the way, but that's all right. See it. I yeah. See it. So you're trying to stay on bond as you're laying this. So if you're new to building corners. Make sure you take your time um, so that it's 100%. So that's my first course of the corner laid. So now I'm gonna check it with a with a level. So because this corner is not too big, I, I'm just gonna use. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll just there. Uh, so I'm gonna use this my small level. Um, and tap these down. So it's running up a little bit. So I try to tap it down. Mud's a bit hard, so. Absolutely tap it down so that gets to level. A little bit more. Yeah. So that's it there, roughly. Um, level. And now I want to check. Check for plumb. So. so as you can see there, because I've gone off the previous bricks, it, it should be like roughly plumb, depending on the previous brickwork. And then check, you want to check both ends. So I see this will need to come out a bit. Not too bad. Now, because I've checked plumb on both ends, now I can check for um, straightness. So, what you want to do now is put the level across the top of the bricks. And as you can see, they're all touching not too bad. So, I like to. Oh, sorry. Jesus. <laughs> sorry. It's alright, I'll cut it out. Sorry. So what I like to do is just tap it anyway, just a little bit, um, just to make sure that it's level. So there you go. Now that um, now that that's uh, now that that's laid. Um, oh yeah, I forgot one step. Um, I'm gonna show it on the next one. <laughs> But you need to check, uh, make sure you check your your gauge as well. So this is 86, which is a the width of a brick and also the um, uh, plus 10 mil for your bed. So I'm just gonna check that I've made it to gauge. Yeah, so as you, as you see the, the, pre, uh, the bottom marks, they're all lined with the, the courses below. And then if I look at the course that I've just laid, it's also um, in line as well. So as I go up, I want to check that this gauge rod is, uh, oh, that my brickwork is in line with the gauge rod. So. Okay. 
going to lie my next hole. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up, place it there. Now, I'm going to spread my mud. Making sure that the bed is not too uh, too small or too big. So that should be right there. So now we're going to. I think I might need to cut this one. Maybe. So again, I've laid my first brick and I've got nothing to go off for the top corners, but for the bottom I, had, I do. So what I'm gonna do is line them up and just get it roughly straight, oh, plumb by eye, so that's all right there. Remember you can check to the side as well, just to see. Butter my next brick. Because I've I've got bottom, I've got bottom uh, uh, edges to go off, and I've also now I've got a, a corner I can go off to. Butter my next brick. Remember, you always want to try to stay on bond. Always checking the bricks below. Remember, you've laid, you've put this brick here as well to see the size of the perp that will be there when you place your full brick. So again, last one. Right, so they're roughly in place. Now, I'm going to check with the gauge rod again. So this is 80, 86. So I put it on the top mark and then just check the previous bricks. So they're all online, as you can see. Same as that top one. So now that the gauge is right, I can check for level. So have a look at that, that's, um, that's level already, but in some cases you may need to hit, uh, tap it to level, so um, because it's already level, I'm going to check it for plumb. <laughs> Just need to adjust it a little bit. That's plumb there. And then this side, check that too. That's plumb as well. Both ends are plumb, which is good. So now I need to check for straightness. So obviously if you can't see over the top, then go underneath and the, it's all straight. All the bricks are touching the level. So I'll take that off and then I can keep going to the next one. So I've got two more courses to go. As we go up, there'll be less bricks to lay because remember, we're trying to um, rack, rack it back. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 
step by step. Step by step. Um, make sure you gauge first, uh, and then check for uh, check for level, and then check for plumb, and then check for straightness. Always making sure you try to stay on bond. So, remember getting the, the bottom of our new brick in line with the old brick, the top edge of the old brick. Another tip as well is that make sure your, when you butter your joints are full because if you need to run a line off it, off, the, um, off your corner and your, your perps aren't full, the corner's gonna move. So make sure it's, it's full so, so that it doesn't. That was a mistake that I used to make um, back when I first started building corners, so there's my last brick. Make sure you got a nice joint. So again, I'm just going off the previous brick, the corner, and using the bottom two corners to line up with the top corners of the bottom bricks, and it's scraping away. Make sure I got a nice joint on this side, when my brick, um, when my full brick goes there. So I'm gonna check for level. Oh, I check for gauge first. So again, that's not too bad, I'd say. It's in line. And then check for level. That's good there. So, gauge is good, level is good. Check for plumb, again. Again, it's not too bad. Let's move it, break out a tiny bit. That's plumb there. How's this side? This side is good as well. Gauge, it's on gauge, it's level, it's plumb. Now I just need to check that the bricks are straight with each other. That's good there. And then done. So now I've got one more course that I need to do. Um, obviously, we can't check for level on the top course because um, obviously the level can't go on top. So what we're, what we're going to do is just make sure it looks good. Um, when we lay it, so I'm going to spread my, my bed. Again, making sure you stay as clean as possible as well in the process.
glass brick. really check yeah as I said I can't really check for level but I'll check the gauge Completed all the steps correctly, you should have a nice corner for your brickies, for your boss to lay on, and, uh, and yeah, or yourself in this case. Yeah. Make sure you point it up too, wherever my joint is. That's a corner guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see any other, any other um, oh, I guess tips or whatever you want to learn, um, make sure you drop it in the comments so we can see it and then we can try and make a video on it. But um, today's video was obviously how to build a corner and um, I hope you could take something away from it. So make sure you give it a like. Um, if you learned something or you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more content. Um, and yeah, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, yeah. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs>